are, NAM 2012. Uh, we're at the Akai booth, and we're going to look at their flag, new flagship MPC product, which is called the MPC Renaissance. Uh, we're here with Dan Gill, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it. This right here is the MPC Renaissance. This is a software controller, audio interface, and software for Mac or PC, 32-bit or 64-bit. Uh, um, this actually has a four-channel audio interface, uh, USB 2, 24-bit, 96 kilohertz, 24-bit, uh, 96 kilohertz performance. These knobs right here automatically map to your software, so whatever page you're in, these software, you can jump over to different sections of your software, so then these are going to automatically map to your software. The software can run VST plugins, AU plugins, and you can auto map these knobs to your VST plugins as well. Um, just like the, the MPC uh, Studio that we showed you a few minutes ago, all of, the, all of your user interface buttons are right here. So you can do 90% of your work without ever, without ever taking your hands off the controller. Um, and also, one cool feature this guy has is called Vintage Mode. The M Let me explain to you how this works. The outputs of these going up to the ADD converters, everything in here is mirrored from the MPC 3000, which is widely regarded to be the best sounding MPC ever made. So the outputs in this are actually the MPC 3000. We use a modern ADD converter so we can have 24 bit, 96 kilohertz sound. What MPC 3000 does is that emulates an, uh, a 16 bit ADD converter just like the old school sound, so it gets a little bit darker, and it gets a little bit of a compression to it as well. Then we go to an MPC-60. 12-bit. Yep, it goes to a 12-bit system, yeah. and actually it has like that weird EQ curve in the high end, because what they do is they, they boost the high end and then cut it down later, so they can get, they kind of emulate more bits out of it. Uh, we're doing that as well, and then other, what that'll be is, we can pick and choose what we're gonna do next. Probably a lot of people have been saying, let's do the SP-1200, maybe let's do the ASR-10. And that can be a growing list. You know, every time we release an update, we can put a new model in. That's awesome. And this, so, what, what are we looking at? Street date and uh, this uh, is price. Gonna, this will be summertime, and this is going to be twelve ninety nine. It's not bad. A lot of beat making I can see in the future of the Renaissance. Thank you very much. Appreciate no it. No problem. Thank you.